Good morning, everyone. And today we're going to be doing a project or start a project. Uh, it's basically going to be a garden archway going to a, a lattice fence that will then go to the existing fence line to make a bit of a divide in the garden. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, it's going to probably be in two parts, mainly because it's going to probably take me a day to do the fence part of it and then obviously make the archway up and stuff and then get that in place. So stay tuned and uh, we'll let's get into the main part, the first part of the video. So I'm going to be using my trusty um, Roby drills today. So I'm going to be using my combi for doing anything drilling wise obviously. As in drilling into the wood to pre-drill for the screws. I'm going to be using my compact drill for obviously driving stuff into the wood. And um, I'm going to be using these screws for fixing stuff mainly, which is what some of these are used on the decking. You, I used them as an engineer when I was on the road, but they're probably based more at the domestic market, but I like the product. I've never had any let me down, so uh, big hats off to them. And um, so, yep, let's carry on with the uh, project. We're gonna be coming off just before that post. There's gonna run along there. And then it's gonna, the butt's gonna probably gonna have to be moved, cause it's gonna run over slightly. And um, hopefully the archway will go over the stepping stone, that's the plan. So uh, that's it really, and then we'll move the butt around a bit more possibly. So these are all the bits we're going to, the components we're going to be using for the job. Panel, post, board, and the plate to go to the fence. And obviously some cement. So in this part of the video, I'm going to be fixing the fence plate to the existing fence. It did take me a little while to get it level. This was just due to the fence moving around a little bit because it's one of those fences that slots into the concrete post. So you get a little bit of play in it to be able to lift it out. Once I got it level, which I'd done by spacing it a bit, I then was able to then start looking at drawing the line across the grass and then start cutting the hole, which is what I'm doing now in the video. So, done for the post, unfortunately I found the mains cable, which is a bit low, but um, that's another story anyway, but I can get around that, and then that's the post, so I'm now going to put some gravel in the bottom of there, and then get it all fixed in place, ready for cementing. So in this part of the video, I'm just going to be fixing the post and the kit board. I had to make loads and loads of adjustments unfortunately because the brackets that I bought for the kit board were galvanised but they weren't wide, quite wide enough even though that was I was told that was the right size for that kit board. So after many adjustments um, I then managed to get that put into place and then I finally before putting in the cement I just put some stays uh, or stakes on the post just to hold it in place before cementing obviously checking that everything's level and ready to uh, to be set in place so the last thing I um, done was I just offered the panel up as well just to make sure that I was happy with that and then um, removed that uh, made them one or two more adjustments and then basically that's it ready for cementing Polling for the post as I say I have come across the mains cable but um, I'm going to sort that, that's, I'll sort that out uh, two foot hole so that's dug down two foot with a gravel bit of gravel in the bottom and then there's the plate to the fence got the gravel board I'm just fixing the brackets now and then we'll slot her in and then cement and that's it part one capiche so in this final part of the video i'm just checking that there's no air bubbles in the cement around the post and just generally tidying up making sure everything's good so this is the end of part one part two will come in the next week or so so keep your eye out for that thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and as I always say have fun and stay safe when you're doing your DIY. Bye for now.